Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while and I am sorry for that. I've been working so much lately and it's made me incredibly tired. And I actually just got off work now. Hi baby girl. This is Addie. This is Addie. Isn't she cute? Isn't she cute? <gasps> Look Addie! She's like, no. <laughs> but, um, so this video that I wanted to do today has been a long-awaited one for me personally because... It is my um, products that I've used up video for the month of July. I know it's like the middle of August, but I want to do it. I was going to do one for June, but my mother decided to throw everything away before I had time to film it. So um, I talked to her about that. <laughs> but anyway, so I do have a big bag here. It's not full, but it's got some stuff in it. And I also have Addie, and she'll be helping me too, telling me that it's basically time to get rid of stuff because it's taking up her space. Alright, so, to get started, I'm just randomly grabbing stuff. First thing is this Dove Ultimate Go Fresh deodorant in Revive, which is the pomegranate and lemon verbena scent. It's the pink one, basically. And I also have one, the same one, in Cool Essentials, which is the cucumber and green tea scent. This is my favorite deodorant of all time, but I do prefer the green one. I think the only reason why, like, because this one still feels like it has a lot of product in it, but I think the reason why I got rid of it is because it, like, it broke, and it's really hard to use, so I just got rid of it. And, uh, let's see. Next, I have a CVS eye makeup remover, and, I mean, oh, sorry, baby. Um, I basically use this. I, I live by it. It's kind of a requirement for me to have at least two of these at all times. Um, I do love this. It says it's oil free, but I doubt it. Um, it never really seems oil free to me, which I really don't care. Like if there's oil, it just means it's going to get my makeup off faster. Apparently it's three o'clock. Why does my computer always do that when I'm filming? Like always, always. Hi baby. Anyway, um, but I do live by, by this. I swear by it. That'll never change. I'll probably see this forever. Um, next is this Frosted Plum Body Scrub. Basically, it just came in a little kit. Okay, fine, go away. Um, it came in a little kit that I got for Christmas one year, and it wasn't really anything special. I don't think I liked it at all. I didn't like the scent. I don't like the scent. It just smells like, um, soap. Really, like, like the really old soap that your grandma uses kind of thing. That's what it smells like. So I really didn't like it. As far as it, as a body scrub, I thought the uh, the granules were too small, and I wasn't a big fan of it. I just kind of wanted to use it up because I'd had it for like a year and a day, and I just didn't want it taking up space anymore. And I always feel bad if I have products that don't get used, so I just, I used it. And even though I didn't pay for it, you know, it was a gift, and I was still going to use it. Um, next is from the same one, the Frosted Plum. This was a bath fizzer. Um, it's just the packaging. And it was actually really, it was really cute. Um, it was in the design of like a snowflake. It was about the size of the box. It was just one. And, um, yeah, it just, it looked like a snowflake. It was white. And, um, it wasn't, I mean, it, once again, it wasn't anything special. I just kind of wanted to use it up. And, um, I don't know, it just did its job for like, I think like 20 minutes and then it fizzed out. Alright, next. I even wrote a note about this because I remembered. This is the La Fresh Travelite um, Makeup Remover Wipes. This was a sample package I got in an Ipsy bag. Or, no, it wasn't an Ipsy bag. It was a um, Beauty Army bag. And I did take notes while I used it just because I felt like I wouldn't remember. Um, my First, these were my first thoughts. Good taking off makeup and burns a little around the lip and chin area. But when I really started using it, I noticed that it did not take off my makeup that well. Um, so at the end, I really just kind of used it for like taking off the swatches of makeup that I would do on my hand. And that's about it. I didn't like these as a makeup removing wipe. Um, I wouldn't even use it as like a facial towelet to like refresh in my skin. I wouldn't even do that. It really wasn't even worth it. I will not be buying these. 
Um, I mean, I think LaFresh does definitely have some really great products out there, but this is just not it, and I, I don't like it. It just, it would not be worth my money. I don't know. I mean, and it, and the fact that it did burn, and it's just supposed to be a makeup remover wipe. It's not supposed to be, um, it's not supposed to be like this, where this is an anti-blemish pad, and you know, um, anything that has like the, the tea tree oil in it, that's supposed to burn. I expect to burn from like a toner or something like that, not from a makeup removing wipe. So I will not be buying those. I did not like them. Um, next is these bath therapy natural mineral bath salts in sport. And this was 25% more free. Helps soothe sore, overworked muscles. Epsom salt plus peppermint oil. That's basically all it is, is Epsom salt, food coloring, and essential oils. So, I mean, I really did like it. I love stuff like this. It smelled really good. It just smelled, you know, whew, it just smells like super pepperminty. Like, it's, like, it really smells minty, which isn't a bad thing. It's just extremely overwhelming right now, especially if I just, I mean, I just, right in there. I don't even know if you could understand what I was trying to say right there, but it just happened. Anyway, I liked it. Um, I think it, I can't tell, I really can't tell if this helped soothe my muscles or just the fact that I took a bath helped soothe my muscles. But either way, it smelled great. And I, I believe in aromatherapy. I do believe that certain scents affect your body and your mind. And peppermint and more mints do tend to kind of, um, kind of like soothe muscles. It makes you relax, basically. But I did like it, and I would totally buy that. I think my mom bought that one, actually, and um, we shared that. But I would buy that, and I think there's a couple more of them. This one is also from another uh, kit thing that I got during Christmas time. This is a romance... Uh, Aromanus... Aromanus... Aromanus Peppermint Swirl Minty Shower Gel. This was like a big bottle of red, and it took me forever to use this up, mainly because I didn't want to. It smells just the same as this does. It literally smells the exact same. Um, it's not bad. I personally don't really want to smell like a mint. Like, I feel like the only thing that should smell like a mint would be my breath. Um, I don't want to smell like a mint, so... If this were a product that I could buy on its own, I wouldn't get it. I'd rather have something that smells good, too. And, I mean, I like the smell of mint, but not for my body. I mean, it was good. It wasn't great. Um, oh, <laughs> next, this is fun for me. Hairbrushes. These two hairbrushes I am actually throwing away now. Um, they are years, years, years old. I have used them to the point of exhaustion, these poor things. Um, like, I don't know if you could see, but you see how dirty that is in there. I've washed this a bunch of times. That is now stained. And there are hairs in there that I cannot get out um, because they're wrapped so tightly around the... Um, whatever these are, the bristles, they're wrapped so tightly around, but they're starting to turn, like, gray, they look gross, and I was just like, it's time to let go, and then this one was my mom's, but I couldn't find mine for the longest time, so I stole it, and then she got a new brush, and I just kept this one, and then I found my brush, and then I just had this, and same thing, it's just, it's really old, it's really time to let go, um, I will not keep a, a hairbrush for more than, like, five years, um, I'd say that's a pretty decent span of time, but see, that's how long I'll let a hairbrush get to, but I can't lose it in the process for me to keep it that long. Usually I tend to lose my hairbrushes about after two or three years, so then I just get another one, and then I find all the hairbrushes that I had before when I do like a deep clean on my room. But anyway, um, I'm just going to fix that really quick. Okay. And... Next, oh, I love this, but this poor packaging is just eating away. All right, so this was a, like, I guess, like a mini travel size. This was the Paris Amour Triple Moisture Body Cream in Bath from Bath & Body Works. Oh, my God. I, I love this smell. 
if I could find it again. Oh, wait, there's like, there's more. Oh, there's more. Oh, oh, no, it just got sucked back in. Did you see that? I don't know if you can, you can't see that. That's terrible. Hold on. Oh, there it is. Oh, I'm so glad I caught that. Anyway, um, I really, I love the smell. I don't know what it smells like. I don't know. It just, oh, God, I hate it when I can't describe a scent. It really bothers me. It's got this kind of sweetness to it, but not like candy sweet. It's a little different. Um, yeah, it's it's like a little sweet, maybe a little florally, but just a little bit. Um, I think the packaging is so adorable. And actually, this lotion by itself, even though it's just a travel size, has swayed my opinion on lotions forever. This thing right here is the most amazing product in the whole world. I usually just get any kind of lotion. I'm not really picky at all. I'll get um, just body lotion. I'll get hand and body cream. I'll get, you know, body butter, whatever. Like, I love it all. But after having the triple uh, moisture body cream, I've never felt such luxurious skin before in my whole life. Like, this stuff is the only stuff that can make my elbows and knees feel smooth. And so I will definitely be buying more. And I really hope that this wasn't a limited collection because, I don't know, my friend gave it to me because she was getting rid of stuff and she knows I like this. And um, so I tried it and I just fell in love. And I will totally buy it. I mean, I might not be able to get the same scents, but the formula alone, I will be buying more. Next, this literally took years to get rid of. This is my BioSilk Silk Therapy. And um, I know a lot of people know about BioSilk. This is the small one, by the way. It was $14.99 for this teeny, tiny little thing. This was... I want to see how how many ounces or whatever it was. Oh, it was 2.26 fluid ounces. You know what's sad? There's still like this teeny tiny little amount in there, and I feel like I'll just never get it. And I've held, I've had the bottle like upside down before, and I tried to like drain it, but it just, it never comes out. So I've just given up hope on the world. But I've definitely got my use out of it. I think it made my hair absolutely amazing. I will totally buy this again. I might even get the bigger bottle because it lasted for so long. I think the money would be worth it. And, um, you know, yeah, I just, I don't know what else to say about it. It's, it's like a little miracle serum. Let's see. Oh, yay. I only have a couple products left. Um, this is the Elf Eyelid Primer. I was not done with this, but it decided to dry out on me because the, this like the metal part of the cap broke off so I guess that let in like a lot of air and it just kind of dried out but from what I did get from it um oh yeah it is so beyond dry I can't even swatch it um I think it worked really well as an as an eye primer I thought it wasn't you know those uh those more liquidy eye primers I'm not really a big fan of those like the more gel liquidy ones I don't really like those I like kind of like the cream consistency where it's kind of a cream to powder finish, if you will. I like those because I feel like that creaminess goes away when you apply it. And I like that. Um, I thought it was great. I, I would definitely buy it to actually really give it a good shot. This just came in a kit and I decided to use it, but unfortunately the cap came off and like broke off, so it dried up. So I don't really have a great review for it, but it's in there. Okay, only three more things, and I swear I'm done. All right, uh, the next two things are, I think that's Elf, uh, or Elf mascaras. One is brown, one is black. And the black one, I know, just dried up, because um, it's, like, super gunky. Like, look at that. It's just, it's gross. I don't even know. Yeah, see how, like, disgusting that is? It is ridiculous, but it's all goopy and gunky and... I mean, it's not like the best mascara in the world, but if you are in a rush and it's laying around, it'll do the job. And then this one's brown, and same thing, and I got both of these in a kit. Um, yeah, this one just super dried up as well. They weren't anything like really special elf mascaras, they're not my favorite, 
but I had them because they came in a kit, and I was just like, you know what, let's just get rid of them. And this one I didn't totally finish, but it also dried up. It was a sample. It was Yes to Blueberries Age Refresh Eye Firming Treatment. And it says, formulated with Paracrest flour to help reduce the appearance of fine, line, fine lines and wrinkles. It is paraben-free, and it is 95% um, natural. And so I haven't tried a whole lot of the Yes To line. I tried a Yes To Tomatoes. Um, I think it was like a facial scrub. I've done the Yes To Blueberries, and I did the Yes To Cucumbers makeup remover, or facial towelette wipes. Um, they haven't been amazing but this was an amazing product this is something I would buy based off of the sample the sample actually came with a lot of product than I thought I had because I cut it off and I expected I'd just be using it in one go because you know samples they don't really give you a whole lot and I was like oh you know yeah it's a big package but I'm sure that you know there's really not a lot of product in there I put it all on my hands and then realized how much there was, and I realized that I could probably cover my entire face maybe five times over with the amount of product that was in this. Um, so I tried to put it back. It didn't really work, and I used it up as fast as I could. There's still some in here, but it is dry, and I, I don't really feel like putting that on my face. Um, but I, I really loved it. It was very rich. It was creamy. It made my eyes feel good. I felt like... Um, because sometimes I'll get, like, the bags under my eyes. I felt like it kind of tightened them up, not necessarily, like, reduced the bags themselves, because that's from t being tired and stressed and everything like that. But I feel like it kind of firmed up that skin, and it pushed it back, like, hey, hey, no bags for you, lady. But, um, yeah, so that's actually the last product that I have for my products that I got rid of video. I don't even know how to say that, products that I've used up. Yeah, anyways, I will be buying this. I have to find it somewhere. I'm sure you can find it at like a Target or a Walmart or something because it is Yes To and they carry them there. Um, so I'll be definitely searching. If you know where I can get this, um, comment below and let me know or send me a message or something because I want this. Also, if you happen to know the price range that it would be in, um, that would be awesome. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my awesomeness that is. Oh, this is the bag I put everything in. Isn't it cute? I'm not. Um, yeah. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you liked it. Rate, subscribe, and uh, comment below. If you have anything else, um, oh, you know what? In my next video, I'm going to be telling you guys something pretty awesome. But I'm about to film my next video as well, just because I want to get this out of the way, because it, like, this video has been overdue. Um, so yeah, I'm looking, I'm looking, Wow, I'm looking excited to it. I'm very excited for it. I'm looking forward to it. So until my next video, see ya.